Hey guys, I'm so sorry. It um, has come to my attention that I did not pre-draw the squares for my first graders um, to create the frame. And I thought I had. Maybe I, I may have drawn some and then some got missed. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to make sure that you have the information on how to do that. So if you have a ruler at home, that would be the best thing. And this would be your very first step. So before you do any drawing or anything, um, if you have a ruler at home, take the ruler, take the straight edge, line it up with your square where it says top. And you want the edge of the ruler to sit right with that black line. And then you'll take your pencil and you'll draw a line across. And then you'll move it over here, line your ruler up with the edge of the paper and draw your line across. Do the same thing as you go from side to side, just being really careful to hold it tight and draw that line with a pencil. And then same thing here. And the ruler that I use at school is about an inch wide, okay? So if you have a ruler, most of, most of the student rulers are that way, so it should be fine. Um, if, you ha if you don't have a ruler, any straight edge will do. You might have like a bookmark or something like that. Another solution, if you don't have a ruler, would be to just take a piece of paper and sort of guesstimate what would be about an inch. So for example, I might take this little card and um, say, okay, that looks like it's about an inch from that edge to that little line. And then you can just use this to measure it off. So I would put this on the edge of my black line, draw a little mark here, move it down, draw a little mark here, and then take a straight edge. It could be a piece of paper or whatever you're using, and then draw it across to make your um, lines line up, match up, to connect them, basically. So you could do that all the way around as well. Either way will work. You can see right here, just made a little mark there, and that will work too. And I'm so sorry. I thought that I pre-drew those for you guys, um, but I... I don't know, I must have um, been mistaken. I had a whole lot of them that I was labeling, so I'm not sure what happened there. Hopefully I just missed a few and not all of them. Anyway, if you have any trouble with that, um, just email me and let me know if I need to clarify anything for you. Um, the other thing is you'll, you'll notice that you'll end up with a line drawn here in each of the corners after you um, trace off the ruler. And that is up to you if you want to leave that. Sometimes students, when we do it in class, we do that um, with the ruler together. And sometimes students will leave that there and then they'll put a little design in the corners. It's totally up to you. If you don't want to leave those lines here, you can erase them after you trace this box with your crayon or whatever black um, drawing tool you're using. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you have a question or you're not understanding that. Um, that is totally fine. And again, I apologize. I hope all is going well. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.